Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today we're going to have a look at how you can insert contact forms on any page of your WordPress website. Now, there are many ways of doing so and this is just one of them of how to achieve such results. Now, from experience, I found this solution quite straightforward and super easy to use and to customize. And for this, we are going to use a form builder, which is basically an extra plugin that we'll have to install. Okay, so let's discover how we can do that. Okay guys, so welcome to our demo website here. So this is a real estate website, as you can see with a lovely uh, hero section right here. And as you can see, it displays different properties and all that. So clearly for an estate agent, uh, real estate company, you'd like to get a contact form in place. So we have a contact page at the moment. So we've created this as a demo again. So we have this one here, as you can see, get in touch. You have the contact info, maybe phone number, address and email address, and maybe social media and even Google Maps but you don't have a contact form. So how can you create a contact form and link it to any page, even your front page, and even why not add a contact form right here on the home page? So I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's look after the contact page first. And for this, we go back to our dashboard. So we need to install the plugin for this. And the most convenient one that I've tested so far is WP Forms. So we go to plugins, add new, there are loads of them out there, but I guarantee you WP Forms is the easiest one to use and configure. So as you can see here, WP Forms, there's this one here with the beaver here, a very nice uh, icon indeed, uh, very friendly and eye-catching. So you can see four plus million active installation. So that's a lot, you know, and it's updated very frequently. So you're always up to date and uh, up to scratch your uh, relation to security and all that, you know, very important when you have a WordPress installation. So from here, you click install now. There you go. And then activate. So that's it. So as you can see, welcome to WP Forms. Thank you for choosing WP Form, the most powerful drag and drop WordPress form builder in the market. And I totally 100% agree with this statement. It's not uh, false at all. It is true to its core, as you will see in a few minutes. So let me uh, show you quickly here in the WordPress menu. You have an additional tab here, which is your WB forms. You have all forms, add new entries, settings, tools, and so on and so on. You even have analytics. So let's create our first form. So we're going to create a form for our uh, contact page here. So let's go ahead with this. So create your first form. And as you can see, we presented with a few options here. So you can start with a blank form, so a blank canvas, a simple contact form, newsletter sign up form, or a suggestion form. So we could start with this one, but we're going to go with a blank canvas just to show you how this uh, Beaver uh, works, how this WP Forms uh, plugin works. So there you go. So we have drag and drop features here. So what do you want to uh, ask your uh, visitors to provide you uh, information wise? OK, so let's say you start with a single line. So maybe you might ask them for their names. So if it's a name you want first, you might drag and drop the name just like that. And as you can see in the name field, you have first name and last name. And then you might want to ask them for their email address so you can reply to them. So email address. And maybe you might want to ask them to leave you a message. So we have a single line text or paragraph text. So I think in this uh, case, it, this would be more suitable, obviously, you know, you might want to uh, provide them with the option to leave you a, a few more lines anyways. So paragraph text. So this uh, title here, you can see name. This is f fairly self-explanatory, email as well. But paragraph text, you might want to change this to something else, you know. So if you click on this now, and you might hear, you might type, leave us a message. And you can make any field required, so mandatory basically, you know. So as you can see, the name will be required, the email address as well, because you need to know the email address in order to reply to them. And the message uh, usually should be mandatory as well. So you might want to click this as well. So there you go. And then you click Save. And now, as you can see, we already have our form created. And for a message form, for contact page form, this is 
plenty sufficient i think name email and message this is all you really need so let's go ahead and insert this onto our contact page now so let's do this so let's open our wordpress dashboard so for this i'm just going to open a new tab just like that so if we go into our wp forms here in all forms as you can see this is our blank form this is our form we just created now and you can see there's a short code right here so we are going to need this now so all you all you do is highlight it and then copy and now we're going to edit our page and insert it here so for that we're going to pages now all pages and we're going to open our contact page which is this one and we're going to open this with elementor so there you go so if we scroll down now you can see we have two columns here so we're going to just insert it right here and for that we're going to select the element uh, called short code and now we drag and drop it here just like that and now you're going to paste the short code we copied from early on there you go and then click apply update And now if we go into our contact page and refresh, we now have our contact page, uh, contact uh, form right here on the contact page. So you might want to adjust this up a bit, you know, no, it's up to you really. You might add a bit of, uh, you might add a bit of a margin maybe by the side or some padding. So let's say from the left hand side, we're going to add maybe a padding of 50 again, give it a bit of breathing space, maybe let's say even 60 and you might want to add a title as well so let's go ahead maybe copy and paste this one copy paste bring this one up and call this one contact form and then we can add a text maybe underneath it so copy paste it here just going to change this uh, feel free to use this form outside office hours uh, we and endeavor to reply within uh, four working hours there you go simple as and then update and now if we go back to our contact page and we refresh you can see we have contact page it says here get in touch we have the contact info phone number address email address social media and we have our contact form so let's go back to our contact form now let me show you how you make sure that this uh contact form will reach your email address so how do you do this so let's go back to our settings here and you go into notifications and as you can see by default it's going to fetch the admin email so the admin email basically is the email set as the admin of the wordpress uh, installation as you have it so if you don't want to use this or you want to make sure it will reach you anyways you can still type your email address here so hello at mrwebreviews.com this will reach me straight up and then all you have to do is just click save and now if we go back to our contact page and if i refresh once more and let's give this a go so i'm going to put john doe his email address is john doe at gmail.com and the message is this is a test from the contact page and then submit There you go and just like that your message has been sent and you can see you get a message here confirmation message that says thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly now if you wanted to tweak this and make it your own you go back to your contact form and this time you're going to confirmations and as you can see this is your message so if you wanted to change this tweak it around customize it make it your own just change it here and then click save and once your customer has submitted the message, that's what they'll see. So let's go and have a look at my mailbox now and see uh, the email I received. 
So there you go. So this is the email I received. As you can see, you have the name, John Doe, email address, john.doe at gmail.com and leave us a message. That's the message. This is a test from the contact page. So very neat, very simple and uh, very appropriate indeed. Now, what if you wanted to use the same form, but on the home page? Uh, so let's say, for instance, you wanted to insert it in the hero section of our website. So right here, you know, we have that big space here, right there, you can fetch uh, uh, customer's information. So how do we do this? So once you're happy with your uh, form, you can just close it. And again, we're going to copy and paste this. So copy this. And this time we're going to open all pages. And we're going to open our home page this time. So I'm going to open this in a new tab again using Elementor. So here we are. And then we're going to add a short code again. So we take our short code, drag and drop it here. And we're going to copy. And we're going to paste our code here. So apply. There you go. But as you can see, now it's blending in with the background. It doesn't look uh, that great. So what we can do is just add a background color to our column here. So we're going to style. And then select white maybe. That's much better, indeed. And then we can add maybe a headline, a heading, sorry. So heading, maybe right on top. Now you can see we have a big heading here, so it's maybe a bit too big, you know. So let's go with this on the small end, maybe H3. They, that would be perfect. So request info, maybe details. Or request callback, you know, whichever you want. And then you save that, update. And maybe we can add a bit of padding around the edges as well. So uh, I'm just going to link them for now. And I'm going to put maybe 80 all around, just like that. Update. And let's refresh our home page. And just like that, you can have your form immediately next to your hero on your hero section on the home page when you can fetch people's details and get them to send you inquiries. And the same principle applies. You can put their first name, last name, email address and contact details and submit it to you. Now, let's say you wanted to uh, make a change to this and make it different. Maybe you have a two different uh, contact forms, one for the contact page and one for the request details here on the home page. So all you have to do basically is go back to the, your WordPress dashboard and click all forms. And as you can see, you have blank form. You can duplicate this to make it easier. Okay. Then this is our copy. Now we can edit this. So as you can see, you can give your contact form a name by just by clicking on it. So let's say this one would be homepage. So that you know uh, which is which so that's okay so we go back to our fields now and instead of name you, you don't want maybe first name like last name maybe you just want them to put their names in one field so what you can do is grab a single line of text here put it on top and then call it name now as you can see if you type it the label here the label is always on top maybe you don't want that you know maybe it's too intrusive you know it's maybe you know you have the name on top the, the label is right on top maybe it's a bit uh, too obtrusive you know maybe taking too much space as well so what can we do if you click on this now as you can see if you go into the advanced options you have the place or hold the text so instead of having a label you can remove this and put here name and do the same with the email address. Or instead of email here, you're going to put it in the place, uh, hold the text right here. And then the same with leave us a message. So remove this and put it in the place holder. And now if we save this, now let's insert this into our page now. So let's copy and paste this one. This is our new code. So copy. And then we're going to insert it here. So this is our short code, control V, and that's it, update. And if you go and refresh now, as you can see, it's much neater, easier to read as well. You don't need the labels basically. So people will know immediately that's name. So if I start filling this out, John Doe, I know this is the name. If I remove John Doe, 
is going to ask me for the name so it's very simple very neat indeed now let me show you all the different fields you can ins insert into your contact uh, form uh, and for free this is the free version anyways you know so as you can see i've dropped down so let me add a drop down here at the bottom drop down multiple choice and check boxes there you go so let me save this and let's refresh okay so what's the difference between those three options so this is a drop down and once you have the different sections uh, options you can only select one at a time so let's say first second or third there you go now you select this one or this one you can only select one at a time multiple choices is the same basically you can only select the first the second or the third one one two or three but check boxes is different you present it with three options here as you can see i can select uh, the first one and the third one or the second one and the first or the second one only it's really up to all, all of them all together so this is multiple choices check boxes so this is the difference between them so how do you set your uh, um, options so basically if we were to select check boxes here first second third if you have more than that you can have fourth choice and even fifth and a sixth let's say why not there you go and then once you're happy enough with this again you can save and if you go and refresh now as you can see we're from uh, one to six so there you go very simple indeed isn't it and then what else do we have as fields you have name so name is as we said is first name last name email address and number slider so let me show you number slider now so if you go and insert number slider here on top and then save and then refresh basically it's a number slider it goes from 0 to 10 so instead of typing a number they can just slide use the slider to go from 1 to 10 or if you wanted uh, to change the numbers increase it you can go from 0 to maybe 25 and then save and then refresh and now again as you can see i can go up to 25. so this would be very handy if you were uh, looking for feedback maybe you know uh, from your website how much would you rate us from 1 to 10 or something like this so there you go guys that's all for now i hope you found this helpful if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video